I am very grateful to be able to tell some stories about Kuan Yin, one of my favorite masters from heaven. Kuan Yin has been in my life ever since I was a little girl because both of my grandmothers had an image of Kuan Yin in their homes. I don't know if they knew in their outer mind who she was and somehow she got to their house. One grandmother, my mom's mom, had a beautiful oil painting of a statue of Kuan Yin and my other grandmother, my dad's mom, had a very large statue in relief that hung on her wall plus another porcelain statue, one of those tall statues, and she had that in her home also, which I have inherited, and I am very grateful. I found Kuan Yin myself by reading a book. It was called The Snow Leopard of Tibet, and it didn't mention Kuan Yin's name, but it did have her mantra. And I had never heard much about Buddhism before, and I read this mantra, O Mani Padme Hum, and I really liked the sound of it. And so I just kept saying it. Oh, money, pardon me, whom? Oh, money, pardon me, whom? And I would sing it in the car. I would roll down the windows of my little Volkswagen Beetle in the middle of Los Angeles and just go around singing, Oh, money, pardon me, whom? Oh, money, pardon me, whom? And what happened was that not long thereafter, I found the teachings of the Ascended Masters. So I really feel like Kuan Yin was just looking, looking, and she just said, Okay, come on, let's go because I had been kind of depressed because I was looking for something and didn't really know what it was. And so Kuan Yin came. And then when I got to the teachings of the Masters, I found out that Kuan Yin was actually sponsoring a university course right at that moment. So I always knew that it was Kuan Yin who um, picked me up and bested me off and brought me to the teachings of the Masters. So I am very grateful for her help on my path. And now we have the Kuan Yin Rosary, which is so wonderful. I love to give it. It just makes me happy. It makes me happy to sing the songs and to do the prayers. And sometimes I just close my eyes and just feel the love and the mercy of Kuan Yin. And I know that mercy is so important for all of us. And then at the end of the rosary, we have a wonderful song, the Ho'oponopono song, where we share this mercy with everyone bringing forgiveness to ourselves and to all life. So thank you, Kuan Yin, for saving me. As they say in the rosary, I am saving sentient beings, and I really feel that Kuan Yin saved me. And I'd like to tell another story, and this is a story a friend of mine told me, and this is Kuan Yin bringing comfort. My friend was um, a captain in the Vietnamese army. He is Vietnamese, and he was captured and was in a, a concentration prison camp. And he said one day he was standing out in the yard by the dumpster. And, and I say he's by the dumpster because all of a sudden he smelt the fragrance of beautiful lotus flowers. So as you see, I have roses here. He smelled lotus flowers. And he knew that Kuan Yin was with him. So in this very hard situation of being in a prison camp, he had the presence of Kuan Yin and it brought him such comfort. So thank you Kuan Yin, thank you so much for taking care of all of us and thank you now that we have such a wonderful rosary so we can sing and pray and dance with you as we can dance to the Ho'oponopono dance at the end. So thank you very much beloved Kuan Yin and I'm so glad more people are knowing your name around the world.